Okay, every oh. okay everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove a watermark um, out of a video that I made using Manicam. And it's going to be done the safe and legal way using a method of cropping using a video editing piece of software called Handbrake. So um, let me show you Manicam. And as you can see, this is Medicam, and I already recorded two videos already, and done a did and I did my edits and stuff like that. And see, okay, you want to click on the play button, you know, talk whatever, talk, you know, do your thing, and when you're done, you click on it again to stop it, and it'll show up here, and then from there, your video would be saved, and your video. And your folder Manicam, that's where you're going to find your saved Manicam video. Videos Manicam, right here. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, for the resolution, you want to do the 800 by 600p. So you text, so you select the um, 600p. Any bigger, and it might make your video lag and stuff. And as you can see, I have the little time in here because I wanted to play with that. This is kind of cool little program, you know. And uh, so we got that part. Okay, <clears throat> now that I showed what you had to do, click play, stop, choose resolution 600p, you know, stuff like that. And now we're going to edit the Manicam logo watermark right here. We're going to take that out using the crop method, using handbrake. Okay, now you bring up Handbrake, and it looks like this. You got pictures, filters, video, audio, subtitles, and chapters, and you got um, video size, video size, I can't talk straight, I got a cold, and then you got cropping. First thing you're going to do is find your video, which I already saved them in another folder. Go videos. And then I'm gonna I put the two videos in my other folder called Fun Video Edit Test. And I'm and this is my first video, Manny Cam Test Video One. It's my test video right here. And I'm gonna drag it up in here. And then I gotta rename this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a little something. I'm going to go edit one. I'm gonna I'll, I'll change things again later. Just so I don't like copy over the same one. Okay, anyway, you drag this one up here like I did. Then minimize that. And then what you're going to do is give it a name. Uh, I'll just give it some other name. Just for fun. Video test part, going to call it, you know, already made another one, so whatever. But anyway, then you go to browse, and then you want to save it in your folder that you want to save it in. You click save. And there you got the start of it. So now, first thing we're going to do is the crop. <clears throat> And since the watermark's at the bottom, you only touch the bottom setting. Now you have to choose custom. It says automatic right now, but you got to choose custom. And this it shows up in bold. And then you want to, you can use the up or down arrows or you can type it in. And you type in 60. And you crop 60 whatever from the bottom. And that's it. Now to make it look like widescreen, I hope it looks like that when it uploads to YouTube, but I don't know. So I'm guessing at this part. So it might look like a white screen without the black bars top and bottom. Because you know how you upload some videos and you get black bars on the sides and shit. Because it's not widescreen. But this is what I'm going to do. What you're going to do, you see where it says anamorphic? I can't pronounce things, but anyway. You want to change this part from loose to, loose to none. And then you want to either use up or down arrow, and you want to take the check mark out, take the check mark out of 
keep x bet ratio and take that take that out and then either highlight and type in 480 or use the down or up arrows until you get it to 480 but I like to type it in and um, then you click start It says, it said preparing to encode, now it's preparing a video. Hopefully it will hurry up. La 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 la. Mmm, this is good soup. I'm eating bean with bacon with extra hammy bits and other extra goodies. Mmm. Okay, now it says Q finished. That means your video is finished. And closes out. You're no longer in use. I'm done. I deleted that one because I already did one. Now, as you can see, I got my first original video, which is I'm very much a square, and then here you see this one. It looks like it will be widescreen because it's smaller, but but uh, looks wider. So let's look at the original video. Oh, I don't want to use that program. I want to use something else. I don't like that one. It came with Windows 10. How about Windows Media Player? Okay, this is the original video. And as you, oh shoot, it's not going to, oh, okay. And as you can see at the bottom, it has the manicam.com watermark. You see that right here. Move my, move my mouse away. As you, you can see the watermark. And in this video, you should not see that. <laughs> Open with another one. I don't want to use the other one. Let's try VLC. Let's see what VSL does. Okay, that should fade away. Come on. Okay, everybody, this is a test video. Okay, and as you can see, the watermark at the bottom is gone. And it kind of looks like widescreen. Let's see what it does. Yeah, yep, it's widescreen. So not only did I crop the uh, watermark out, but I also made the video widescreen using handbrake, and that's it, people.